Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Welcome back. I have one more requirement related to SAP consultant and particularly this profile is related to record to report. If you will check here uh, the requirement, there is a couple of requirements uh, there uh, and uh, one of requirement is uh, that is related to uh, integration with other modules. So as you know that integration is a very important area where uh, business is going to explore other business functionalities like product costing, profitability analysis and all. I have picked one question from this, if this type of scenario question will be there, how you are going to answer this question. So it is integration with any other module and I am going to take this example of FIMM. So integration with other modules, a real time question. The client is experiencing the difference between your FIM and MM integration due to incorrect GL account assignment during GR. So that means here we are posting one GR and we know that when we are going to post the GR document in logistic, we will expect the accounting document and uh, inventory is going to debit and GRIR account is going to credit. Now here issue is, the question is, when client is processing the GR document from the logistic point of view, they are finding some difference between the GRIR account or the GRIR account wrongly posted here, right? It may be a differences uh, is there or maybe a wrong GL. So how you are going to identify the issue and how you are going to uh, resolve this issue. If this will be the question will be there in interview, what will be your approach, how we are going to answer it. Now this question is related to configuration. So as a consultant point of view, you have to answer it. It's not any business analyst job. So that's why any solution is related to this. It is related to your configuration or IMG. So to find out first what we are going to do, we are going to check the uh, discrepancy related to the GRIR account. So for that you are going to run the GRIR identify the issue related to GRIR. So maybe you can use the transaction code MR11 or you can run that report to find out whether the any issue is related to GR or related to invoice or related to the integrations. How you will know? You are, you are not going to check end-to-end -end configuration related to this issue. So for that purpose, let's say you receive this ticket, right? Uh, or how you are going to resolve this particular issue. So for that, you are going to run the MR11 T code. Then after that, you are going to check if there are some differences. Obviously, when you will run it, you will get the differences. Then after that, you are going to check your configuration related to OBYC. So after this, I'm going to show you in the screen also. So you are going to check your OBYC. Now in OBYC, so many transaction codes are there related to, so many transaction keys are there related to different configuration. You are not going to check everything. The issue is related to GR. So which one you're going to check? You are going to check the WRX transaction key. So that means in WRX, you are going to check whether the proper GL account, means our GRIR account is assigned or not, or during configuration, some different GL accounts it is assigned. Because you are finding this one in the testing phase or maybe during your uh, uh, production live system you are getting, maybe someone changed in the configuration, something happened. So that's why you are getting the difference. So that you are going to check whether the proper GL account is correctly assigned or not. If we found that a wrong GL account is assigned there, so there you are going to configure it. But already the GL account, wrong GL account related postings are there. So that also need to be corrected. For that you are going to use the transaction code F.19 so that the correction entry will be posted. So this is how when you are going to give any practical answer to any questions, use the real scenarios, use the real T codes. Theoretically, if you answer it, then the interviewer is going to get the idea that you never work in the system. You don't have the hands-on expertise, right? Now check this one. First, we will check the unmatched balance in your GRIR entries. For that, we will use the transaction code MR11. And here you have to specify your company code. For example, if I'm going to take here Y200, then the posting date up to which date you want to check. For example, I want to take any date, then you need to execute here. So uh, let's see if any unmatched invoice related or uh, freight, anything. So related to GRIR account unmatched balance, we are going to GRIR account unmatched balance, we are going to check. I know here there is no difference, so I'm not going to get any output. So you can see that uh, check completed, but uh, no data is available. So that means in my case, there is no unmatched is there. But if any differences will be there, then of course here you are going to get. Then we are going to check the configuration settings, which is there related to your GRR account. And we know that all the FIMM integrations we are doing in OBYC settings. So let's check that. So go to OBYC settings. This is related to FIMM configuration. And you need to check your transaction key and uh, the transaction key for GRR account. We know that is 
WRX account. So check that whether the right GL account is uh, assigned to your OBYC settings or to or your transaction key. So this is our GRR clearing account. So here you are going to check that. So you need to enter your uh, check. So uh, just ignore the other part. Right now I'm not discussing all the valuation class and other posting rules. So we have to make sure that the right GL account is entered or not. As here we are getting the error. So definitely here you will expect that a different GL account wrongly assigned that we need to correct. So here you need to check the right GL account assigned or not. If it is not correct, then correct it. So correct the GRR account. In my case, it is 2006. So there is no adjustments required for me right now. But if required, then we have to do. Then after that, we have to go for the adjustment entry. So we have to post the manual adjustment entries so that the differences, the discrepancy between your GRI account should be posted to the GL account. So you have to use the transaction code F.19 and post the GRI clearing account to post the discrepancy entries.